Welcome to Automation of the Week. I'm Brian Hayes, and every Tuesday we release another video showing you step-by-step -step how to create an automation in Salesforce or Pardot. This week, I'm gonna show you how to update a case based off an email subject line. This is a pretty simple flow, but it has a lot of great use cases. So many people that are using cases within Salesforce already have email to case set up. So they have an email address like support at company.com or team at company.com, et cetera, where whenever somebody emails that address, it creates a case for them automatically in Salesforce. That on its own is quite valuable, but it's even more useful to be able to update fields on that case based off the subject of that email. So let me give you a couple of use cases. One might be feedback for the CEO. Perhaps the CEO does a lot of speaking engagements or maybe in their signature, they have a little link that says, you know, send me a message, how are we doing, etc. Sure, you could just have those be emails that go to the CEO, or you could actually get them into Salesforce so you can start tracking them. But you probably wanna treat them differently than you would a typical support case. So perhaps they're still emailing team at company.com, but when it says CEO feedback in the subject line, you want different fields to be set. Maybe the priority is a bit higher, maybe the owner is different, et cetera. Another use case for this is if you're running some sort of marketing promotion, or if there's a coupon or something, you can have people email an address with the keyword in the subject line, and then we can sort those later within Salesforce. Other use cases include following up on warranties or registration. You know, any sort of situation where you've got a standard email that might be coming in with a keyword in the subject line that you want to treat differently. So let's go ahead and create this flow. Go ahead and go to the flow section in setup and click new flow. And this will be a record triggered flow like a lot of the other ones that we've created. We're going to create this for the case object. And we want it to run only when the record is created. We don't want to rerun this flow every time that case happens to be updated, only when it's first being generated. So we'll say when a record is created, and then we have a couple options around conditions. So we could put our conditions directly in this flow. We could say whenever the subject line contains, and then for the value, we could put CEO feedback, then we could have the rest of the flow run. But what I'm gonna do in this case is actually put this little bit of logic about that keyword in the subject line, and I'm gonna put it a little bit later in our flow. Instead of having the trigger only start when that keyword is found, we can start the flow and then have the flow see the trigger later in a decision element, and that way we can create multiple keywords that are gonna update our case in different ways. So instead of me saying the subject contains CEO feedback, I just wanna make sure that the subject is not null. So we'll say subject is null, and write in false. Now our last option here for this trigger is we could either have this set to fast field updates or actions and related records. Well, fast field updates is what we want in this case because the only record we're going to be updating is the case that is being created. We're not updating any other related records in this particular automation. Then click done. And now we can add our decision element. So you can click the plus sign there and then click on decision. And I'm gonna label this decision with subject keywords. And now on the left-hand side here, we can have multiple outcomes. So we could have we can have different keywords that we're gonna send down different paths. For our first outcome here, I'm gonna write in CEO feedback. And now we can add some of the logic here. Under the resource, I wanna reference our global variable right here for record, and then go down to subject. And this is where I'm gonna say subject contains CEO feedback. Our default outcome, we'll just leave that as is but we could add another outcome here as well. So let's say our keyword in this case is going to be product registration. Logic is really similar. We'll go back down to our global variable here, select subject, and we'll say if that subject contains product registration. And you could add as many other outcomes here as you'd like. Then click done, and now we've got these different paths. For our CEO feedback, go and click plus and select update triggering record and we'll say update case. It's already using the case record that triggered the flow, and now we could add additional conditions if we needed, and then beneath that, we can add any field updates that we want. So let's say for priority, we wanna make sure that this is set to high, and let's say for type, we want the type value to be set to other. Now you could go and add additional fields here if we wanted to assign it to a specific person or a queue, we could do that as well. We could even update the status from here as well. Then hit done. 
And it's the same thing for product registration. What I would typically do is select the element that we already created, that update case element. And then when you select it, you can hit copy and then hit the little plus sign and then you can choose paste. It just saves you a few clicks, especially if there's lots of different fields that you already had filled out there. Then you can go into that copy of the element and you can change any of these field updates as you see fit. And that's about it. So to review, we've got our trigger, which just starts whenever a case is created and that subject is not null. And then we have a decision point that's looking for a keyword within that subject. And if that keyword exists, it'll go down one of the paths, whichever path is appropriate, and it'll update that case with whatever field values we need for that particular keyword. It's a pretty simple flow, but it's something that's gonna help route your cases and, and improve your data quality over time. Hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.